Hi, this is Todd Whitman with Not Ten Yacht Sales. Today we're going to take a look at a 2007 Sea Ray, 400 Sundancer. Let's hop on board and take and a you'll look. Notice on this 40 Sea Ray Sundancer is it does have the hydraulic swim platform. Everything on the boat's fully operational. We're going to walk down this uh, starboard side. Canvas is in impeccable condition. Exterior of the boat is extremely clean. Full fiberglass hardtop. We'll be walking on the foredeck. It's got the uh, port lights on there, so you have nice um, natural light coming into the main salon, which we'll look at in a bit. I try and do these videos pretty quick. Uh, I know when I'm on YouTube or any platform, I'm looking at getting the information and moving on. So if you're looking for a 30 minute video of a 40 Sea Ray Sand Dancer, this ain't gonna be for you. Stepping on the swim platform, this molded in swim platform is nice and wide, full beam. You have transom storage. This boat also has the um, extended uh, cockpit canvas or camper canvas. So once you're in the salon, you have screens across the back, the eyes and glasses in awesome condition. Starboard side, you have this large U-shaped seating area that can seat a ton of people. Just forward of that, you have a, a pedestal for a flat screen TV. This boat also has bridge air. So this whole air, this whole, can't even speak today. This whole cockpit helm area is fully climate controlled. It's gonna pan around. Molded in steps to get up forward. Again, we'll do that in a bit. Cockpit sink with storage underneath. Cockpit refrigerator. Looking at the helm, you have your dedicated captain's chair, companion seat. Again, the final is in impeccable condition. This is a diesel powered boat. It's got Cummins 380s with about 960 hours. All the services are up to date. At the helm, you have trim tabs, spotlight control, um, vessel view, which gives you all your engine data, engine hours, fuel burn, etc. You have analog gauges on each side of the uh, E120 GPS chart plotter. So you have RPMs, fuel, oil pressure, temperatures for both port and starboard mode. Excuse me, port and starboard motor. Another E120, so you can have split radar, GPS, Raymarine autopilot, Clarion control. Hard top again. A step down below. Companionway door open. You've just got four quick steps down into the main salon. Those are those windows that you saw on that starboard side. There's, of course, there they are on the port side. It lets a lot of natural light, which is great on an express boat, which tend to be a little dark. This one does not. So, galley, you have your uh, refrigerator and separate freezer. Built-in microwave. Lots of storage. There's a TV in this compartment. We'll drop it down in a bit. That door is to your uh, head. We'll pop in there in a second. Starboard side, you have a large couch. They put a little ottoman. This couch slides out and this becomes another berth. Looking aft, you have this aft settee, which is L-shaped. That converts into another berth for two. Just forward on the starboard side, you'll see your main distribution panel where you have your battery switches, um, 12 volt, as well as uh, all your household electric items. Little privacy curtains tucked in there, so slide along this track. Lots of storage. This is that forward head, vacuum flush head with a vanity and some storage. This is looking forward into the forward stateroom. You've got that pocket door. 
As soon as you come through that pocket door, this is that access to the head what we just looked at. On the opposing side or starboard side, you have a separate shower stall. So it's nice that somebody could be using the restroom while another person is showering. Forward, you have a large island queen bed with access on both sides. Saves so nice steps getting up to the bed. Nice and easy to get into, easy to make. Um, port side hanging locker. Starboard side, it's a smaller locker that, the, that has all shelving. And then there's some storage up along each side of that bunk. I'm going to scan back here. That's looking aft, of course. Nice little skylight. Again, gives you lots of natural light, which is one of the complaints you hear a lot of folks say about a, an express boat. Um, this is very light and airy. The wood is rich. Um, beautiful, beautiful layout. We're going to walk forward. This is on the port side, so it's an easy step up. You've got a nice handrail as soon as you come up off that step. Walking along the gunnel. Again, another hand ra rail right here along the windshield. So you're never stuck in limbo without anything to hold on to. Nice, easy access up to the foredeck. There's a sun lounge that goes in, in here. The sellers don't use it, so it's at home. Up forward, you have all your anchor tackle. So you have your windless foot, swish uh, windless foot swishes, your windless spotlight, of course, your, your anchor and anchor tackle. And that's the access going down the starboard side. Look at the hard top. It's kind of panning around. Got the engine room open for the Sea Ray 40 Sundancer. This boat's powered with Cummins 380 diesels. Uh, this is an electronically controlled motor. Uh, roughly, I think, 967 hours total. Boat has had full service, after coolers, heat exchangers. Uh, the boat is, is turnkey. Current owners have had it for, um, I think, about eight or nine years. And uh, boat's well-maintained and documentable, which a lot of people tell you that their boat is well-maintained, but very few can come up with the support docs to show it. These folks can. The starboard motor, the scan aft, and of course, here's your port motor. The seawater strainers and valves are easy to get to. Another thing you'll hear uh, about express boats is that you can't get to any of the through hauls or the strainers so when you have an issue you've got to be a contortionist um, this boat is very very well laid out onan generator i am gonna attempt to get the engine hours off of that uh, when i pop down there i'm gonna probably stop this video to do so hi this is todd with not 10 yacht sales i want to thank you for watching the video on this 2007 Sea Ray 40 Sundancer that I have listed for sale. If you uh, want to know the price it's currently offered for, it's in the description of this video. Also, all my contact information, phone number, etc. You can feel free to call me. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about this particular boat or any of my listings. Thanks again for watching and safe boating.